my channel. Hope you're all well. Today's video will be a random one, but I think it's going to be a good one. I will be doing a full face of makeup using makeup that I've purchased from Wish.com. For those who don't know what Wish.com is, go check it out. You literally can buy anything and everything on this website. Um, sometimes you don't even have to pay for it, sometimes you just have to pay for shipping, which is crazy. Um, so basically I just wanted to do a full face of makeup using their products. I ordered it back on the 15th of November, but I've had the last item through today in the post. Um, it comes from China, I think, so that's why it takes so long. So I'll run through with you what I bought, and then we're gonna be applying it to the face. So in total, I spent £28 on full face of makeup, including brushes. Shipping was £15, because it obviously comes from here, there and everywhere. It's not just one company that sells it. So grand total of £43 for full face of makeup, including applicators, which was a full set of brushes. What I got was first of all was the gto high quality fiber false eyelashes and these were three pounds and you get a set of 10 pairs so these eyelashes came like this and they're not your best quality if i'm honest they've almost got that like plastic effect but they are very wispy so i thought why not for 10 pairs for three pounds you can't really go wrong so they were three pounds. I will link below all that I've bought. So if you are interested in anything that I've purchased, go ahead and click the links below. And then I bought a professional free color matte face contouring palette. And this came in a set of two, which was two pound for two. So I don't know why I bought they're exactly the same, so I'm just gonna use one, but just to let you know, you do get two for two pounds. So really, this was only a pound. And this is a blush, contour, and highlight palette. And this is in shade 102. I literally have not touched them at all. And the make of this one is Mini Star Professional Makeup, blush and contour. And again, like I said, that was two pound. And then I got, the 2017 New Volume Mascara Black Waterproof Curling and Thick Eyelash Makeup. And I only really just picked this out because purely because it had a skull on the top and it literally just lured me in. And this was very much from China. This is Heng Fang Max Volume Mascara. And um, when I haven't tried it, but when I opened it, it's very got, yeah, it's still got like a really chemical smell. So um, I'm a bit worried on using it, but they can't really be selling these products um, if they're not very good for you. And this was actually free. I just had to pay for the shipping. And then I got some liquid foundation. And this is in shade four and it's called natural. And this was three pounds, and it's from Folescure. Folescure, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I've got some again, the same make, but some face concealer cream. And this is Warm Ivory. And I did swatch this on my hand when I received it, and it is full coverage on my hand. So God knows what it's going to be like. Big cover. What it's going to be like on these bags and redness. And that was, I am on my phone, sorry. That was one pound. I don't know if these prices are what I actually paid, but these are the prices that are on the website now. So it might be different when you go on and it might be different to what I actually paid for if you're gonna do the math on how much I've said. And then next thing, I got a ladies glitter eyeshadow palette. And this was two pound, and this was just a shimmer shade that I thought would go well with the other eyeshadow palette I've got to do like a cut crease. And again, this is the same make as the foundation and the concealer. And it's in the shade Gorgeous. 
this one. I have swatched this one before. The pigment's not too bad considering what you're actually paying for. It's not too bad. Um, how much was this one? Two pound. Highlighter that I got. I haven't even opened this one. This was Stole the Show, which is H02. And this is coming up as a free right now, so you just have to pay for shipping. Okay, so that is the highlighter you get. Comes in a plastic pack. Again, the pigment's not too bad considering you're only paying up to like £2 for it. This next to this one here. I am filming in darkness right now, so hopefully the lighting isn't too bad for you guys. So next I got an eyebrow kit, which was £2. It says it used to be £45, so... But when I did try it and swatch it on my hand, I was really impressed. And it was Ministar This. Ministar this, Ministar Eyebrow Gel. And it comes with two shades. I have lipsticks. And I bought two lipsticks. I don't know what I actually paid for, but it's coming up free. And I got two shades, which was Silk Indulgent, which was one. And number two, which is Bustier. And these are liquid matte lipsticks. And I just wanted some nude shades just to do like an easy, simple makeup look for you guys. So this is Bustier here, and this one is Silk Indulgent. Use both of these and do like an ombre lip, so I might try that. Again, like I said, it's coming up that they were free, so you'd only have to pay for shipping. So I got an eyeshadow palette. Okay, it was free and all you had to pay was shipping. And it was teeny tiny, look how tiny it is. Um, the pigment's actually not that bad. Um, it's a little chalky. Actually, that one had a really high pigment. This might be surprising. I think this might surprise her. Then I got some brushes and I got some eyeliners. And this came in a pack of two and they're just black waterproof eyeliners. Again, I've tried this and they are so thin and you could do like a proper, yeah. Again, that was free. So you'd probably only have to pay for postage if you're looking at this video now. And it's the same time, roughly. And then last but not least, I got a bag of brushes to try and apply all this makeup with. So we are going full force with this makeup look. And again, that was free right now. That's on the page. It's free and all you have to do is pay for postage. So if you're interested to see how this Wish makeup will turn out, then please keep watching. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out this makeup. First things first, I'm going to start with, obviously, the foundation. And this was in the shade Natural. Oh my God, look how orange I'm going to be. Okay. God, it smells nice though, and it's really thick. Right. Oh my god. I'm not really one for brushes, so this is new for me. I don't know. It's really thick and it's really not my colour. I don't know what it is with brushes, I just can't use them for applying foundation. I just love a beauty blender and how well it blends. See, this is probably like a really bad shade for me. Well, it is a really bad shade for me, but just a beauty blender just blends it out so it doesn't look terrible. Okay, so I think that's as good as the foundation is gonna get. Um, so let's just go in with the concealer. Big color wish concealer. Okay, so that's. I don't actually have a blusher brush in it. But that 
foundation brush literally soaked up all the product. So maybe those brushes aren't really a good idea. But hey, let's move on to blusher, which would be within the blusher contour kit. They're a little chalky, but okay. So that's the contour. Let's go in with the blush. Oh my god! Okay, so that highlight from that kit didn't do too well. So we're going to take the one that I actually bought separate, which was Stole the Show, and we're going to try it with our fingers and see if that makes a difference. Stole the Show, because this looks proper pigmented. Oh, well, that's not bad, is it? Okay, so before we go into the eyes, let's quickly do the eyebrows. And we're going to take the brown one from the kit. I'm not going to take the black one because this is going to match me more. I was looking. That is not bad at all, is it? That is not bad at all. Okay, so I think now what I'm going to do is go in with the eyeshadow. So we'll just do a simple eye look. So the eyeshadows don't do well on the brushes, but they pick up well on your finger. Uh, they're chalky, they are not very blendable. Bristles though on the brush, it's not blended out very well, but the bristles aren't like poking me, they're really soft, which I'm really surprised at. So what I'm gonna do is go in with a pigment shimmer shade in this palette just to test out again the um, pigment, and then we're going on top of this one to see if that pigment's good. So we're going with a nice gold shade from the eyeshadow palette. Oh my god! Oh, not bad at all. That pigment is really alright. <laughs> That's better, look at that. That is so much better. <laughs> That's probably like the easiest I've ever done a winged highlighter on this one. And I can't be asked to go and change this one. I think I'm gonna leave it. It just makes for the video, doesn't it? So my wing eyeliner is wonky as anything. I can say that this side was super easy to do. This side just was a mess and the ink ran everywhere. So it's literally thick and bulky, whereas this one didn't come out that bad, I don't think. But I'm not gonna take all this makeup off to make it look like that because I won't be keeping this makeup on. Anyway, let's just go on with the video and roll with it. And we're gonna go in with this mascara that literally stinks. 
of chemicals it's bad but i really like the bristles of the brush it's thick and it's got like space So the mascara's on, it's not actually that bad. I do think that the brush is, I liked it before because it looked really big, but I think being it big makes it really difficult to get in the corners. But it's not a bad mascara at all. It's definitely given me volume and thickness. Um, a little clumpy, but for the price, it's not actually that bad. It's sticking though, sticking to my bottom eyelashes. So I'm sticking. So I'm going to try out these eyelashes um, and then I'm going to do the lips and then we're done and then I'll give my review after. These eyelashes are ridiculous. I feel like I'm going to fly away. I'm a peacock. You gotta let me fly. Literally, they're so sh stupid. I even like trimmed these down and used normal glue and they still look stupid. I can actually close my eyes. Oh, I don't know how people actually wear these. Let's try uh, the two liquid lipsticks and we're going to do kind of like an ombre. That is my completed look using wish.com makeup only. So my overall thoughts are some products I actually really like and some products I hate, which is kind of just standard. The brushes, um, I would say the foundation brush is rubbish because I personally don't use brushes for foundation. So of course I'm gonna say that. Um, but the actual eyeshadow brushes aren't that bad. They blended out quite nicely come the end of it. So I was impressed with the brushes come the end. Um, some other things that I like was the concealer. Again, it's not creased under my eyes, which is really good for a concealer, especially when it doesn't crease. Um, I'm impressed with the foundation actually. Now it's kind of sunk in. It does show off all my enlarged pores here and it's not that high of coverage, but it's not that bad for the price. Again, I like the lipsticks. Really impressed with the eyeshadow palette itself. Considering how tiny the palette is, and how small the actual product you get of each colour, the pigment is still really, really good. And I really like the eyebrow product too, especially the brush it comes with as well. That's really good. So I wouldn't scratch wish.com off my list for never going back to buy makeup because I actually probably would use it as an option, just like my eBay and my Amazon. These eyelashes are literally horrendous though. I gotta take them off, I literally. Eyeliner actually wasn't that bad. I think with a steadier hand on this side definitely turned out better. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this one. Do not cancel out wish.com for getting makeup just because it's cheap and you think it's gonna be crap because actually you might be surprised like I was. I'll link below in the description box all the stuff that I've shown you today. So if you've liked the look of any of it, then you can go ahead and check that out. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel before you leave and I will see you next time. Bye.